Alright, today I'll be showing you how to make a basic web browser for Windows 8. So first we're going to have to start a new project. And then we're just going to use a blank app template code so because it's much simpler and we don't need all that other stuff that they automatically generate for you. And then we'll just name this basic web browser. And then we're just going to press OK. It'll automatically make it for you. Okay, there is a lot to making a Windows 8 app, but I'm just going to show you how to make the app itself. And we're not going to put in all the pictures and everything. So right now, I just opened the designer page. It's where you make the app. I'm just going to minimize that. Let's open the code page too. This is where all the coding happens. So I'm just gonna go back here and then wait until the designer loads. Okay, good. So I'll make it smaller so everything fits on the screen. Okay, so first we're gonna have to add a web view. It should be under the all XAML controls. We're just gonna drag it out. And then on the properties, I'm just gonna name it web view one. I just like to name things in numerical order so that everything is much more consistent. So then I don't have to remember all sorts of weird names. And then I'm going to set it to stretch so it's bigger and automatically resizes with the different screen sizes that different people have. Set the margins, nope, to 0, 20, so that they're not too close to the edges. And let's make it taller with the bottom by 22 so it doesn't get too close to the bottom. Let's make it taller. Put back the 20. Then we're also going to need to add a text box for, so the user can enter the URLs. I'm just going to make it longer. I'll name this text box 1. So then, now we're going to get to the coding. Then go to event handlers right here. And then, this, these are the different types of events that can happen. So, we're going to make an event for when the user clicks enter, the web view right here will automatically navigate to the URL that, that is in the text box. So we're gonna do key down, double click it, and it'll automatically generate the code for you, as you can see here. So we need to make sure that the user pressed enter and not some other keys, because the key down event is whenever the user presses any keys, like A or T, so we don't want the web browser to be navigating whenever they're trying to type in the URL. So we're going to do an, make an if statement and then put E because it's the variable that ha contains whatever key they held. And then we'll make it equals and we're going to find the enter right there. Perfect. We're just going to press enter and it'll automatically generate the then and end it for you. And then we're gonna put um, web view one because I named the web view one. So if you name it something else, then you're gonna have to put it whatever you named it. We're going to navigate new URI. We're gonna do a text box one. And again, if you named it something else, you're gonna have to put whatever you named the text box. And we're gonna do the text property of the text box. And there, we have our coding finished. So let's see how it works. You press a local machine up here, or you could just press F5 to run the app. And this is a splash screen. There's a lot of logos and everything that you can edit in the app manifest. So then we're going to take this off because that's default text. And we're going to type in the web's URL of a website that we want. And then you're going to have to type in all the um, HTTP 
and stuff like that because this is a really simple web browser and we don't have all the auto completion and stuff be coded so there we go we have our Google page right here so it worked so if that's basically it so and thanks for watching